Griefers. This is an impromptu video from Zola Tank Boys. If you guys have been following the journey that we've been on with Zola Tank Boys, um, you know that I have a couple tanks. Um, Hector's with me here. Say what's up, Hector. What up, what up? Freeze to the official date's August 16th. You guys know this video is a little bit delayed. Stay tuned to the upcoming videos because we got crazy, crazy updates. Back to the video. I have the Red Sea 170, which is my display tank. It's thriving, doing well. The other two tanks that I have is the Red Sea Max Nano and um, the Innovative Marine 30 gallon long. Now, I've always had issue with keeping strong water chemistry parameters in smaller tanks. Um, the smallest that I have had really good success with has been the Red Sea Max, uh, not the Max Nano, the 170. So what I'm actually gonna do, um, and I've been thinking about this for a while, but I've been kind of holding off, is I'm going to sell the 30 gallon long and the Red Sea Max Nano because right now I'm on my way to pick up another 170. Um, you might think I'm crazy. At first when I told Hector, he thought I was crazy. Um, but I love the shape. For my house, it's a perfect fit. I don't have a lot of crazy room. My house is a hundred year old house that I refurbished. Um, so I can't put, you know, a 200 gallon tank of you know, weight on my wood floors. So this actually works perfect. So I found this guy on the Facebook marketplace and we're actually heading there right now. Just made it to the location to pick up the Red Sea 170. So I got the Jeep ready, so we made some space. We're actually gonna put everything tucked in nicely back here. So let's take a look at the tank. You're not gonna believe, hey, um, I got a pretty good deal. I'm excited. Uh, we're gonna set this up. We already have fish that we're gonna put in there. Let's take a look at this, guys. So we do have some rock that we're gonna put in there. This is gonna be really cool. I'm a big fan of this rock. We got some shapes, some arches. Here's the puppy. Red Sea 170 comes with a sump, all the plumbing, so we're actually gonna have a lot of fun putting this together. But the first thing we gotta do, guys, we have to put this in the Jeep and get this thing going. Let's do it. It pays to have a Jeep. It pays to be the cameraman. No heavy lifting. <laughs> that's all right, so that's there. Lightweight, lightweight. All right, so we have to get the tank in here. Close this up. All right, guys, so we're gonna move some of these buckets because we do have to get some fresh water. And we're gonna actually put it nicely back here. All right, Reefer, so we just left. Here she is. So we got the 170. Crazy, crazy, crazy um, small world. So while we were there, um, I randomly met this guy on uh, Facebook Marketplace, and he happens to be uh, a fish guy, so he imports fish. Um, he has a buddy who sells coral, um, so he's a young guy, and he's kind of getting everything uh, started. Um, and he, he hooked us up, and you know, now we got somebody else that we can kind of have something in common with. So it's pretty cool. We're actually heading back home right now. Um, we're going to set these tanks up, and then from here, we actually have to go to our LFS. Um, because I do have to pick up some salt water, uh, a bag or two of sand, and then it's time to get everything rolling. All right, guys, so we just made it to Worldwide Coral, so we're actually here to pick up some water, some sand, so we can get this puppy started. We've been driving forever, so unfortunately I took a wrong turn. That cost us like 45 extra minutes, but we finally made it. So let's go in there and get All right, guys, so um, we fast forward a little bit, so the tank is in. We did the plumbing. Uh, let's take a look at the plumbing. So we had to do a little bit of a makeshift plumbing, but it's pretty good. Um, and now we're gonna fill it up with water. Sorry. One, one with us. Why are you putting your hand in there again? Because Hector wants to contaminate all my water. I think the point of having the thing was the point of the fact that Yeah, it didn't stick down. But it, I mean, it is going on top of the film before it gets to the fan, so.
while we are filling it up with water, I am going to be doing the aquascape. I do have my purple rock down there. Um, there's a couple trains of thoughts when it comes to aquascape. A lot of reefers take 10 years, they architect the whole thing, they glue it, which is fine. I have always been one that I go by the seat of my pants, I feel inspiration, and I just do it. So we have the rock there. I'm gonna put this together to the best of my abilities. Let's see how this goes. Yeah, they're all on the rock. Alexa, stop. Take it, take it, take it, put it on the hole. I still got this rock, and you got it, your, your goby that's underneath this rock. Ouch. That's the one that we have to scrub. The big crab. Okay. And there's a little frag right there. All right, guys. So I'm using some of this rock in here. Is that it? But I am gonna scrub it. So what I'm gonna do is scrub it in um, regular uh, tap water. Then I'm gonna wash it in RO water. I'm trying to kill any sort of bad bacteria that's in this because I did have a suspicion that there may be either um, cyano or uh, dinos or anything I do not want to bring in here. So I'll take this to the seat now. Ah! You don't eat it I know it! I Ooh, said it! Who's queen? <laughs> Where is it? I said it! It's in here! It's in the rock! He's probably dying because it's not salt water, right? Where is he? He's in the rock! He's in the rock, he just came. Alright, see him, he's right here. Dude, you cannot scream. Babe, like what do you mean? I have, have a horse, I have right. a... Just I have a horror, I like... I it on video. Dude, I literally almost just died. <laughs> I did catch it on video. Just let it hang out. Oh. It's being recorded. Come up. No. Right here. I was bringing it to you when she freaking. Oh, oh shit, what's biting me? Right there. Right there. My cap. My cap. Ow. There you go. That's good. Babe, I didn't scream like that I purposely. Don't see him. Hold it. Like, shake it. Shake it. He'll fall out. He fell out earlier when I. Oh, trust. When I, oh, what was that? When I held it up, he came He's falling a out. You little snake, literally. All right, I'm gonna bring the clowns. In Dude, this he bucket. scared the oh, crap out of me. Like all I saw was a snake coming towards me. <laughs> to do the same shit though. What do you mean? I scared the same way, but probably less. I'm, I, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a, I scream like that in the movie theater. But it's here's a scary scene. What do you want me to do? Wait for him to come out again? Yeah. There he is on the carpet, actually. Where? Oh my god, you saw my face. think he should, could be on the carpet? And he's where he fell? He came like this, and then I... Because he's a jumper. Like, he jumps. Okay, so should I shake this again to see if he'll come out? He came out when I went like this. When I went like this, he fell out. Alright guys, let's see if this plumbing was done right. Alright, so we hear... We don't have the pump yet. Um, uh, okay. Well, let's try that again. I don't think I put enough water to fill it. Okay. I hope that's the issue. I thought I put enough water. Let's look up. I could check it. Are we sure that we plugged it in right? That's the same as the other one, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's going down. I see the little clear tube. But the clear tube should not be spitting water. Yeah, it should. It feeds it into the... Um... No, the, the pump sucks the water and spits it up here. See what I'm saying? That's the way the other one is wired. You're right. So let's keep an eye, maybe. Could also be that it's closed off. Exactly. Oh yeah, we probably didn't open, twist it open. 
You're gonna have to put enough water to fill up the sum too, aren't you? Yeah, we have enough. Yeah, it's not all the way full yet, so of course it's not gonna be. How do you have enough water? This is all the water we have left. There should be one more bucket, I think. Maybe not. Ha ha! We did it right. That's what we want to see. There we go. This one is not open. This has to be open. It's already eye water. Huh? No. But why isn't it the other one chamber going? Because it sleeps so it soups over into the next chamber. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe you're right. Let's see. Why don't you just put it into the sump? Instead of stirring up the sand. Because I don't have a pump. And I need to see the pump is up there. Is it coming out? Yeah. On the other, on the other one? Yeah. yeah. But the top one isn't. This one isn't. You have to get the open and twist it. The big, the big. Alright reefers, so the tank has been running now for almost a month now, um, which is why I haven't posted a video. I wanted to kind of get running. Um, so everything is running good. Um, I did have to make some adjustments to the plumbing. Um, however, now I have two Red Sea 170s. Um, I sold the other two tanks. Um, the next video I will be doing a major, major update on the established 170 and on the newer 170. There's a lot of crazy stuff. I'm also going to be doing a video on a really nice coil that I've been hunting for. If you follow us on Instagram at Zola Tank Boys, you know what coil that is. Um, but stay posted. Um, I hope you enjoyed this video of Zola Tank Boys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and leave a comment below. Till next time, Zola Tank Boys out.